What's good? It's your boy Zara All Rights Reserve coming to you with another one. Guys, excuse me for the judge and jury. I will upload that following shortly. But right now, dealing with these situations, who's the judge and who's the jury? When we're looking briefly at, and excuse my music, I'm going to turn this down soon. We're going to be judge and jury dealing with the situation going on with the young man who actually faced some issues dealing with the officers now. And you know what? What's crazy is we're looking at this situation and we want to talk about it a certain way. But honestly, the judge has been made regardless of who it was. Who's the judge? Society's judging. And who? how are we judging it, though? The way it's being judged is simply in the situation and looking at the fact that the public's outrage in the situation that happened with the young man from Minnesota. And, you know, I'm not going to act like you guys are idiots, but um, George Floyd is his name. And the thing dealing with him is he was brutalized by officers. That's point blank, period. We can't argue that he was in a situation where they came because a business called. And claimed something happened. He wasn't proved guilty. So they went over across the street. Retrieved him. Brought him back over where they were. And bottom line. They overstepped their boundaries. The moment he came back over across the street. Via one of you doing something. He should have been put in cuffs. And sat in the car. Not sat beside or on any concrete. That's number one the mistake. You should have done the normal procedure. You don't cuff anyone and sit them on the sidewalk. So when that happened from a public person looking on, I knew something bad was going to happen. There's so many things that is proving to things not making sense. And that's the problem, man. I mean, when I look at the situation, it's so terrible because it made riots even by me. It made riots to people doing things that got them arrested or brutalized just as well as he did. So look at the effect it did. It changed society as a whole. Then you have people trying to make a line in front of the cops like the cops didn't do something wrong. But that's the problem. The thing is, the cops did do something wrong. And I understand them saying that oh, people are out of control. And I get that. But you got to understand the frustration built up. From y'all just seeing this publicly, when this happens normally around us, like, I don't know where everybody's from, but this is a normal occurrence if you live in an urban place for cops behaving this way, abusing power. This is normal. This is stuff we deal with on an average. Th that's another day for us seeing stuff. And I myself can speak of some of the travesties I witnessed, I've been through. And I just think it's crazy that people aren't willing to see it from both sides. I see it from the side to say, look, if you're not peacefully protesting, don't protest. If you're not willing to protest in peace, don't protest. If you haven't been fighting against cops since the beginning, why are you fighting now? What? Because someone you don't know is in an outrage and there's more people doing it. Like, listen, I've been fighting against cops on this channel forever, publicly doing it, even as far as having traveled to Texas and been a part of dealing with the abuse of power. I marched with the people down there that I was marching. It's my first video ever on this channel. You can check it. My first video ever. It's crazy how people now want to be in the outrage. But you guys weren't in the outrage unless you felt it was you had a bunch of others with you or you were standing for something. That's the only part where it gets weird for me. If you never been fighting, what are you fighting for now? Make it up in your mind because those of you who are fighting physically and trying to take it above and beyond a peaceful protest, I told you, cops ain't playing and they're waiting for you. If you haven't been doing it, it's going to get vital, vitally violent for you. It's going to get new. And that's the thing you got to think about. Think about your families. Think about your well-being when you're making these decisions. You guys are reacting to a place where something happened you don't even live. Respectfully, I get how you're doing it, but remember the, the vital difference between Malcolm X and Martin Luther King. I'm not even going to sit here and, and try and teach you. I want you to go back, read their stories and look at the vital difference. One got changed, one did not. And the one that did not get changed, what happened to him? 
He was violated by his own camp. The very people that he was riding with the whole time ended up turning on him. Do you realize that? The clear difference? People he was fighting for turned on him. And they're the reason he's gone. That, ha that happened so many times. Even dealing with Harriet Tubman. The reason her situation even got exposed was because somebody who was black told on her for money. Do you get the point yet? And I want you to relook at these stories. The reason the cops get ignited, it was never from what the group protesting did. It was from a person that did not belong in the group doing something that did not care. So it was a random man and I'll repost the video. But let me say this. They are attacking the video when it's posted. That it shows the man that had nothing to do with anything. Busting out uh, AutoZone windows at an AutoZone, just doing it and leaving. He wasn't even there for the protest. You got to understand you guys are protesting, but there's someone amongst you who doesn't really care about what you're fighting for. They just want to see violence. So what do they do? They go above and beyond and cause the cops to intervene. And then things get riled up. And when you get violated as a person peacefully protesting, you're going to react. This is, it's art of war. If you don't understand it, I need you to understand that before anything. Yes, what happened to him was wrong. The cop should not, that is not procedure. Putting your knee on a person you're arresting's neck, that is not procedure. That's not basic procedure. You're not taught to do that. So that guy alone should be handled, period. But I want you to understand, when the video came back, and that was seen those cops all the cops that were at the scene were fired every last one of them were fired so now what every anything that happens after is going to be considered problematic and i'm not saying they weren't set to do that to cause this i'm not saying that we're not talking about that point right now we're talking about the reaction the reaction is the action remember i told you that this is partially why and it's going to get a bit deeper. How you react is going to set the tone. Your reaction sets the tone whether you realize it or not. I tried to give hints and tried to give heads up on many different things. People think it's play play or they don't listen. They still do something thinking that it's okay. I'm trying to give you guys a mentality to see the truth. So you're not in a position in which you're causing issue to your family, to your environment, to the businesses around you. Before you protest and destroy things, I want you to think if that was your car getting destroyed, how would you feel? Because all you're doing is validating what it is they bring with, with their inequality, their thoughts of inequality. Are we going to validate it or are we going to fight it in a smart way? Everybody has their way of fighting things, so I suggest you fight it how you believe. But remember this, the reaction is the action. However a reaction comes, that's going to be the final action that's remembered. How are we going to react that we're going to let everyone know, our kids know, everybody we love know, how intelligent and how far we've actually come? I want you guys to think very seriously. We're at a different time. Judge and jury is going to take a stronger term. It's going to be more specific. And I will get back to certain investigations after I get my series up and running. But I want you to keep this in mind. We are at a special time. A very special time in history. Where we have a level to become and do anything we can. Yet we're finding different moments of inequality. And we're using that as the overtone to go crazy. Are we going to let that define the future or are we going to define each and every one of our own futures? Are we going to sit back and let the evils others do make us hate because of race again, make us hate because of status? Or are we going to overcome it and be who we are and push the future forward, become something that people never imagined we'd become? This is a vital time where you can teach your children to be individuals, to be special. To not be like everyone else. So yes I understand what you guys are protesting for.
but because of what it stood for around the world, is there some way you can do it different that'll make a bigger noise than what has become burning cars, rage, raising all types of chaos? Are we going to make it different? Somebody has to step out and set the tone in a new, different way, even if it's political. That will change history forever. Now, times more than ever, this is when men of mice, are you going to move like mice together scurrying to do something? Or are you going to stand like a man to make a difference, to make change, to do something different that everybody remembers? Now is the time you get remembered forever. The same reason we remember Martin Luther King Jr., we remember great politicians, great people that really cared and didn't do what everyone else did and chose a different path to make their name remembered forever. What are you going to do to change it? Are we going to fight to change law or are we going to keep fighting day in and day out by breaking a window, breaking different things, threatening people? If the police are what you're claiming are doing this regularly, like they did to George Floyd, why would we do the same? Won't we do different to show them we are better? It's time to show them we are better if we're going to say we're better. And I'm not here to lead some type of freedom speech or to like, oh, peace is forever. Because peace goes to a certain extent. Peace is with yourself. How comfortable are you in who you are and what you stand for? And your voice being understood and heard in a way it's never been heard before. Today is the day you take a stand and you teach your children what's right. Because look at it, any of our children in the future can be Mr. Floyd if we don't calculate this and carefully move forward. This is my message for today. I got another one coming. All rights reserved.